Hi guys, welcome to week two uh, of our Cromwell uh, project. So uh, this one, we're just mostly going to be talking about uh, the walls, uh, what we've done with the walls, our, our decision with the conservatory, and also the fact that we're, we're starting a new relationship with uh, a new builder. Um, so we're, we're just seeing how they operate, and so kind of observing how they operate, uh, and trying not to be overbearing, but obviously just monitoring things uh, so that um, you know, things can't possibly spiral out of control or get out of hand or anything. Okay, so uh, same again, I'll jump behind the camera and Ashley will jump in front and walk you through it. One second. Cheers, mate. All good. So what we do is um, we we'll have a walk through as normal, have a little chat about the rip out, the walls, the electrics and some of the decisions we've made with different parts of the house. So let's have a walk in. We will walk into what was the kitchen area. So we've stripped, stripped the wallpaper. Uh, we've done the bulk of the rip out, so we haven't done all of it. As you can see, um, these walls have been here for a little while, so there's a lot of holes, um, quite a bit of damage. So again, as Tim mentioned, we're working with a new builder. Generally, looking at this, we probably would have went down the route of replastering the, you know, all of the walls. Um, but again, as normal, we have to sort of, you know, have a, a relationship between what we want the end product to be and also budget. So what we've decided is is actually we're just going to repair the walls as best we can, um, and that's going to save us a lot on cost. The alternative was to put lining paper throughout the whole house and then just paint white over it. Uh, but again, we've just gone for the repair route and we're just going to paint over. So, let's have a walk in. This is going to be the kitchen dining area. Um, so, again, a really nice space. Again, not everything has been taken out yet, so we've still got parts of, of it that needs, needs to be ripped out. You would have seen on the last video that we were discussing what we were planning on doing with the conservatory. Now, we've basically made this decision that the conservatory for us, and given what the target market is going to be, the final market, actually keeping that conservatory um, may do more harm than good. Now, it's a decent sized area, um, it, it's not bad, it's in decent condition, but for us, it just makes sense for us to just get rid of it. So, we're going to get rid of it. Um, you can see we don't we don't really have conservatories of this type in, you know in this day and age where we've got the real big glass that stuff there I believe is single glazed as well or it's the old double glazing it's not great it's not going to serve us a purpose so we are going to just get rid of it it makes sense too yeah had had that been more secured um, you know we would more likely to keep it mm. but it's too risky yeah too okay. risky for this market as uh, two was was mentioning you know this this project and this property with, with formed a new relationship with a new builder so we are in the midst of sort of figuring out how we both work how we work as a project management team and how they work as a builder um, now we decided again because we're not going back to brick and we're not sort of plasterboarding and plastering the walls we're chasing the wiring so a bit of a, a change to the normal method, um, how our builders normally work, but the majority of the wiring has already been done. So we're looking at the first fix wiring and some of the second fix has been done. So going back to what Tu says about being overbearing, we again are just figuring out the process, making sure we're in good communication with the new builder, just to find out, you know, normally we'll do this at this stage, and normally we do X at this stage, but you know, we're yeah. going to give them free reign to do what they're doing, but keep a close eye on obviously cost and times. Yeah, I mean, it's good to form relationships with uh, as many trades as possible, and especially with builders, because um, we're always going to need them. Exactly, so you can see new RCD unit in there, old one was absolutely ancient. ancient. Yeah. <laughs> um, again, this is going to be coming out this stair lift. Just having a little, little look at the condition of some of the walls. So, you know, we've got hot holes all over the place. Um, that one's going anyway. Yeah, this one's going anyway, so it doesn't matter too much. But even on this one, I mean, just look within here. One, two, three, four, five, six. So there's a lot that has to be repaired. Um, so, again, we just have to look at what is the most economical for the project. 
um, but what is going to last as well. We never do things um, where we feel like we're just sort of patching over really bad work. If on, on a, a second or a third look, we have a look at the walls again and decide actually it makes sense to make the investment now versus what the end scheme is going to be, then again that's something we will, we will approach. So you can see all the wiring done here. Um, you can see I'm starting to wire. Uh, this here is where the main point is, where it comes up from below. Um, next is going to be plumbing. As you guys remember, this property has got no gas central heating and it's got an old water tank. So next part is going to be plumbing and then we're going to go from there. I'll quickly take you into the front bedroom um, and have a quick look at the bathroom. Let's have a quick look at the bathroom first too. We know what we're doing there. We are creating one shower room and also one WC. So fairly straightforward there. And then again, with this bedroom, we're not doing anything to this bedroom, but you can see the first and second fix electrics have already been done, which is really good. So yeah, that's it for an update on this property for today. Um, work is ongoing. We're looking at another six, six to eight weeks or so. Um, fingers crossed, you know, as time goes on, materials and that type of stuff won't, won't be an issue. We've weathered the storm with our other projects. Luckily, uh, we've only got, I think, one that's on pause uh, due to materials. One out of eight, I think, is, is fairly good. Um, so, yeah, all good. All right. Okay, and hopefully that's been helpful. Uh, we'll see you guys next week. See you.